Hello there and welcome to another Partners in Crime tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to learn how to create a cool ancient text circle in Blender. So this is a really fun easy effect to make. So uh, we're going to jump right in here and uh, this is what you should get when you're finished and let's get started with the tutorial. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to basically add in a circle. We're going to delete the faces so that we only get an outline and then we're going to just randomly delete vertices in the outline to give it a nice cool tech looking effect. So that was just a quick overview of how we're going to go about this and let's get started setting up our scene and creating that circle. So delete the default cube by typing X and clicking delete, type numpad set on our keyboard to go into top view and type control alt numpad 0 to bring the camera into top view. Now we're going to type in on our keyboard, we're going to scroll through here we're going to uncheck relationship lines, grid floor, and uh, tap on the X and Y lines there. So that just got rid of the, um, that just cleared up our scene there. Now let's add that circle. So shift A on your keyboard and mesh and click circle. Now we'll type tab on your keyboard to go into uh, edit mode. And we'll type E and right click and type S and move your cursor in and left click and now we're going to subdivide this a little bit so we'll type A on your keyboard and A again and type W and click subdivide and we're going to put the number of cuts up to 3 and now we're going to delete those faces so that we only have the outlines here so type X and click only faces and uh, right click on one of these vertices and click select random and just put the random seed up get a little bit more variation and put the percentage up so that a couple more vertices are selected and that's good type X and now click delete vertices alright so now we can type tab on our keyboard and you can see we've got this nice looking deformed text circle so type S on your keyboard and uh, left click after moving your cursor out to size that up and we'll shift the duplicate this move it to the side left click that and right click back on this so we just put a spare circle up there just in case we make a mistake with this one and type alt c and convert this one to a curve object now type shift a on your keyboard and curve circle so basically now that we have this curve here, we're going to bevel it to this circle. So let's make this circle really small by typing S and then typing point zero zero one, enter, and type G and move it off here and left click. Now we'll right click back on this here and go into the curve object data tab and in the bevel section select the bezier circle that we have just created. So now you can see it's filled in a little bit. And if you adjust the start and end values, you can see we get that nice drawing in effect. So we're going to keyframe these values so that we get that nice animation that you saw in the, before the video. So before we do anything, we are going to add a new material. So in the material section in the right of the screen here, look new to add a new material and uh, make it emit by one and that looks pretty good and now we're going to go back into the curve curve object data tab and we are going to let's see before we keyframe this let's make this a 60 frames per second scene so that we get some nice smooth animations and a good frame rate so let's set this to AB sync and in the in the uh, rendered tab 60 frames per second and let's get back here and start our keyframing. So basically we want this to try and kind of draw in and then kind of come out. So it draws in there and then it comes out. So what we'll do is we'll leave both these values at zero. See? And uh, hover cursor over this in type I and this in type I. And jump to a later frame and pull the end value up. And pull the start value up a little. Have your cursor over those these values and type I. 
and then fast forward to a later frame and pull all these values up have your cursor over them and type I so basically we've got our lines coming in, they're drawing out, and it's looking very futuristic -y. And uh, that looks pretty nice. So now we can move this to another layer and set up our scene so we get some cool background effects. So M and click the second layer. And what we'll do is go into the render layer section, click this plus here, and click the second render layer. And uh, the first render layer and select the first layer. Now we'll hold on shift and select the second layer at the bottom and we should get both layers in our scene. So shift A, mesh, plane, and this plane will be our background. And if we go into material view we can better see how our materials should look. So now let's go into the material section, add a new material, and let's actually just make it emit by one and pull the color down the darkness down. I'll pull the darkness up by pulling this dot down. And type S, move your cursor out, left click. And GZ, move your cursor up, left click. Just to make sure that it's behind our text circle. Now we have this lamp here. I'm actually not going to delete it. We're going to actually select this default lamp here. I'm going to change it to a sun lamp. And we're going to change the color. R twice on your keyboard and just until you just get the rotation of the lighting you want and that looks good so left click on that and right click on this and we're gonna make sure this doesn't cast shadows like you see here these artifacts when we actually render it so click this here and uncheck cast and cast buffer shadow let's just uncheck all of this all right so now when we render it it should look good now let's check only render so you can see how this should look. And you can right click and shift D and uh, right click again and then S and just size that up there and left click and, Z, and then you can type RZ and just give this a different rotation so it looks like almost a completely different circle. So RZ and move the cursor around and left click and now you can see we got like a drawing effect on the whole screen and it looks really nice. Alright, so now that we've got our layers separated, we want to make sure we have a transparent background so we can properly composite the two layers together in the compositor. So in the render tab, you want to make sure you're in the shading section and change the alpha from sky to transparent. Hold down uh, F12 on your keyboard or uh, click render, render image at the top of the screen here to get into the compositor. So we'll go to 3D view and now compositing. And check these modes and backdrop and add output viewer to a viewer. And let's see, let's right click on this plane and hold on shift and right click on this lamp and type M and make sure both of these things are on the first layer. And now F and F12. Alright. So plug that into the viewer. Shift D. And then select the next render layer here. And type add color mix. Hook that up there. Hook that to the bottom. Change it to add so it adds in the text circle. Type B. To zoom out and this looks pretty nice. Let's add some let's add some glow. So add filter glare and change it to fog glow and put the uh, to quality high threshold zero and then just duplicate it over again so shift D well click and put that there and then we should see a nice glow we'll take our futuristic outlines here. So that looks pretty good. One thing you can do is in the viewport you can actually right click on this, go to the material section and click the plus here. You can change the color to a light blue 
And then once we add the blue accents in the compositor, so you can view into this layer like clicking this here, we get slightly different colors for our um, our futuristic circle. So I color RGB curves. We can put this here and wait for everything to composite. And you can see we've already got a more bluish futuristic circle there. Now we want to lower red levels here and heighten blue levels so we get that cool blue glow accent to our to our white futuristic circle as well. So now we have a nice futuristic glow scene. So let's hook that up to the composite node. And go to default view. And we rewind this and uh, play. And uh, we change the end frame value to about 75. And let's add in some cool camera animation. And uh, we should be finished after adding some cinematic flair. So, fast forward to after the timeline, after the end of the timeline. So, frame 96 and I location. And just go to the beginning and just GZ and just move your cursor until you see it zooming in a little and left click and I location. And if you type Alt A, it looks really nice. So let's go back into the object data section here. You can see we've got that zooming out. And uh, yeah, this is your mouse button. You can look around your scene and uh, you can add elements as you wish. And uh, back to Numpad Zero. And we're pretty much done creating this nice futuristic text circle. So we have a tutorial on rendering on our channel basically. So if you want to check that out, it's in the first link in the description below. And if you're interested in some more Blender goodness, you can check out the card at the top right of the screen here, or more of the links below this video. If you found this tutorial helpful, please leave a like below, and don't leave a comment if you have any suggestions for more tutorials. But for now, thanks for watching, and subscribe if you want more tutorials like these, and some cool free Blender templates from Partners in Crime.